Hi there game makers and welcome back to another basics video tutorial and today we're gonna do something like this so we're just entering with our dude and then we are getting the whole well, building or the roof uh, we kind of disable that this is actually kind of easy to do and later on we will make a little bit transparency into that if you want to have that tool so this would be a clumsy way and the cheapest way how to do that but of course hey um, first of all let's get the easy part started so if you want to know how to do that in game maker then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course so let's go to the quick setup and you hopefully will see in a few seconds what this actually means so the first thing is we need kind of a trigger plate this is just an object it is pretty much empty there is nothing in here and we just face plant it here on the area where we kind of trigger and then disable a whole layer here in my case it's actually two because this is how it looks like so we got uh, exterior and exterior deco so deco is just a decoration so i don't know like some windows or whatever Ugh. and then of course the whole uh, walls and then we got the interior part this once again walls and then some decorations so some some cool little fancy stuff of course you don't need to do that but for me eh, why not i like it and then therefore we need to well have the trigger plate and if we are walking on then we are enabling those two set them to visible and then for example if you go outside with the player so he is come on dude he is for example walking around then he's going out then we say like oh you are outside then disable the interior things so basically what you're seeing on the screen what i'm doing right now but just in code but this is the whole theory and practice behind it of course if you've seen maybe other videos i guess sean spaulding did a video where he kind of faded in and out this is currently not possible with tile set layers so you just have a middle in between so for example you can set the sprite to transparent or whatever and then you have transparency but not really i will show you that later on but let's jump into the code what we actually want to have so what we do is have our player loop and alarm 11 so here let's go with 10 of course this is a little bit overkill and then we loop the alarm so at the bottom loop it so um, our player will just have an alarm which is looping 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 and then we do a few things so first of all how we can uh well do this thing so the easy and quick and dirty part is set the visibility of the whole layer to zero or one one means it's visible and zero means nulch so it's invisible there's no in between values once again no transparency just toggle off and on so the first thing we need which we need to do is grab those layer ids so here layer get id then here tailor uh, tiles exterior whatever one i did call it so here those two ones the interior and then once again uh, saving in variables the exterior layer so basically we're just storing four layers of course you can just have it in one but for me uh, i want to play a little around with that so therefore i have a few more and then the next part which we need to understand is hey is our dude walking on the trigger plate on this red space therefore we just make a collision point or collision rectangle collision whatever you want to have it this is up to you and then um, the return value can be no one so basically we're just outside or we will return the id of the trigger plate and we don't need the idea we just want to know like hey do we have a collision are we walking on it if yes we set our exterior to what to one so for example we are not walking on it and then we want our exterior to be shown and therefore we do this basically what we are seeing here these two guys set to visible 
and these two guys set to invisible basically the whole thing so this is the whole spiel with that and then for example else so we like oh we are walking on it then the exterior is set to zero so this is the only change we are having and then the interior to one this is it super easy code of course um, I will just post the code in uh, the comment section so you can check it out yourself but this should be obvious and then for example once we start it um, that's pretty much it easy peasy stuff alrighty so we are here with our dudes let's zoom in a little bit and then we are walking on the trigger plate and as you can see uh, we disabled the exterior and then now we disable the interior and then we were flip flopping between those two options. So this is basically the whole thing. Easy peasy. And of course, if you're hopefully if you're wondering, hey, why is this not red like in here? Well, I just uh, set it to well, not visible. So here and then therefore um, we don't see the red area here. So this is just so it looks a little bit better. Alrighty, so uh, let's get rid of that. And so how can we make it actually that we have kind of a transparency thing, which I'm not the biggest fan, but of course what you can do is get, for example, your exterior deco and your exterior, so basically your exterior um, tile set. You can just go and duplicate layer. This is what I did here. And then you need to create two more tile sets and they are basically the same so for example if you du duplicate this um, tile set layer you're duplicating also all the positions all that stuff so basically you would have now a carbon copy on top so if you're thinking what's the point of that well you can do a little trick here so basically let's say i have a tile set layer which i call exterior so this is the second one and then we are taking our sprite, which we use for, uh, well, for our tile set, for the exterior files, for the walls and all that stuff. And now we are just toggling it to, I don't know, let's go for 30%. Now you have a transparent version of it. And hopefully you already understand, hey, what, where I'm going with this. So we apply it, then uh, stick it to our exterior tile. And now we can actually go into the player and make another thing, just add that up. So we are adding to it ex the exterior transparent versions of those tiles also, which are in here. And then for example, if we are, for example, not, um, we are outside, so we are not touching or colliding with our trigger plate, then we are toggling our exterior to zero so it's in, so it's invisible because we uh, already have the fully visible one anywhere there but for example if we are on the trigger plate then the fully transparent exterior is getting disabled but the transparent one is getting enabled and besides the interior also and then for, exam for example if we start it then we have something like this and then as you can see we got a transparent version and this is the cheap ones way how to do that i'm not the biggest fan of that but of course if you want to have it like this you can do so as you can see works pretty fine of course if you uh, change this for example if you're just painting some new stuff on that then of course you need to delete this and then duplicate it and then put it back this is a little tiresome so once again just do that as an afterthought once everything is finished and set in stone so hopefully you understand where i'm going with this and that's pretty much it so once again pretty easy we got the trigger plate an instance we have a collision we loop uh, in our player and just checking like hey are we outside or are we colliding and then inside and then we're just enabling or disabling the exterior which is the one tile set and then the interior which is the other tile sets which you have neatly organized here on the left side and this is pretty much it this is the whole magic once again you can do this 
with sprites so then you have fixed thing fixed things but for example if you actually um, want to paint a lot and use this as a universal system then this one is actually easier because once you change a lot of things uh, then it everything is working out of the box and then for example if you use the Sean uh, Sean Spaulding's version then you would need to have I don't know fixed roofs which are sprites of course the fading in and out is looking definitely much sweeter not gonna deny that but of course um, you need to have a sprite for everything set up and then of course this is making a little bit more work so this is then from your side how you want to handle that of course you, you can go even more fancy with shaders or you can go even much, much, much fancier with uh, surfaces and so on, then store that stuff and then making some transparencies, but nah, <laughs> let's make it the easy way, which you saw here. Alrighty, that was it then from my side, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.